Hi, Chad here with Purple Collar Life. Tonight I've got a couple projects on this beautiful fall evening. It's been a great day today in the 70s all day, nice and sunny. Um, so there's a couple things I'd like to do outside before it gets dark here after work today. We had some gravel brought in this year. Uh, we have it every year actually and uh, I had them put it a little heavy in this area because when I'm backing the boat into the building, there was enough of a grade up to the building that the back part of the boat trailer that protects the prop from hitting things, there's like a low section in the boat trailer, that was skimming as I backed the trailer in or pulled the trailer out. Now I could avoid that when using the tractor to haul it because I can lower the tongue so far. But if I was using the truck, it would skim as I pulled in and out of the, the big building either side. But the end result was we're a little bit too thick in here. So every time you drive and around in here with the tractor or the zero turn, you really, you know, dig up some ruts and spin the tires. Even in the truck when I back around here, uh, the truck spins a little bit. So I'm going to use the front end loader, see if I can push that around a little bit. I'd like a little bit over here where the, where the trailer sits. Uh, so we'll start with that and then I've got to get to work on the yard. The grass has just been going crazy lately all of a sudden. It's like springtime all over again. So I need to hit that with the Toro time cutter after I get some of this gravel moved around a little bit. I may even move some of it into a little pile to use when I need it in other spots of the driveway. Now you could probably see there how just the tractor moving around, the back wheels were spinning, the front wheels were digging in, so it's just a little too thick here. It's almost a little bit like a truck ramp. So we're trying to push some of that over here where the tra where the car mate enclosed trailer normally sits. By the way, that new battery in the tractor works great.
some people have asked me about our driveway gravel in a couple other instances so let's go ahead and talk about that while I clean up this edge the uh, gravel that we get in the driveway almost every time is a number three it's like a river gravel and you can see it's pretty good sized pieces we have in the past got the 2B and you can see that's the size of it and a couple reasons we do the 3 instead of the 2B um, our driveway is now over 20 years old just over 20 years old and it's a it's quite a long driveway so it takes a lot of gravel each year to replenish the, the top coat of the driveway uh, even even being 20 years old the gravel still sinks in and when I made the driveway I believe it was 54 triaxle loads of shale or, or crushed stone that was the base of it and that base is holding up really good but the top layer of gravel still seems to disappear into that base over time throughout the year and uh, while that's happening I have found that this number three holds up a lot longer the number two disappears pretty quickly the number three will make it a year especially with the F350 diesel running over it the trailers going over it um, that that heavy weight still crushes it down pretty good so I've found that the three works better for us it is a little rougher ride in the driveway but I don't really mind that Some people have asked why we don't get the crushed limestone or switch to limestone instead of the river gravel. There's a really simple answer to that. I would like to do limestone, but it's about twice the cost per triaxle load here delivered to the house that the, than the river gravel. This river gravel, a triaxle load, a little over 20 tons, runs about $375 to $410 depending on uh, the, the price of gravel at the time. And the, the limestone is twice that so you know if it takes us two or three loads of gravel each year that uh, that price multiplied by two is just more than I'm willing to spend or more than I'm comfortable spending or more that I have more than I have the money to spend each year until it stops disappearing into the driveway so much then I'll feel more comfortable putting the limestone on top but if it's just going to disappear every year uh, I'd rather go with the less expensive number three river gravel all right so i spread that around i think it worked pretty good filling in this area where the trailer sits i went back and forth on it quite a few times on the tractor and the tractor crushes it down okay so having done that i think i'll let it settle for a little bit and then i'll check this area right in here to see if that packs in a little better now that i've moved some of it off and also to see if the grade right here keeps the wheels of the trailer, the boat trailer, high enough that the back of the boat doesn't skim when going in and out of the building when towed by the truck. Now I need to get on that zero turn, get the front yard done. Uh, I need to get it mowed today so that it can sit two days without rain. And then I'll put my next application of the Sunday lawn care on it. I want to do an end of the year Sunday lawn care review. A lot of people have been asking about how that worked. So you can look forward to that in a future episode. So back here behind the building where all these treetops are from clearing this land and where we brush hogged, if you haven't watched that episode, check out the 8N brush hogging. But you can see Alice right there. She loves to hunt in these treetops. So if we can't find her around the house, there's a good chance that if we walk over here to the big building, we'll find her in the treetops and she does seem to hunt more in the fall time like this I think she feels like she has to plump up for winter time so she comes over and she always is great at catching the field mice and the moles she's a good hunter
camera with me? Want to move the camera? Okay. What do you think? Let's It's getting to be dusk here. It's only a little after 6.30, but that's how quickly it's getting dark now. When I brush hogged, if you haven't watched that video, by the way, watch the video of us brush hogging. But when I brush hogged, I did a good job of getting this underbrush, but these jaggers and shrub trees that are very sharp still stick out. So they, uh, when I'm mowing here on the zero turn, they're right in my face. I'm going to see if I can use the bucket to shove them back, both the upper section and the root or the tree section of them, along this edge so that when I'm mowing they're not always hitting me. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. We make videos of, about outdoor work, uh, tractors, lawn mowers, chainsaws, cutting firewood, uh, things like that. Upcoming videos, we're going to be winterizing the camper. We're going to be talking about a new tractor, things I'm considering. I'm in the initial research process of looking at what tractor is next. This one still does a great job, but it's a little bit smaller than I'd like at this point. So I'd like to look into something a little bit larger than this. So that's much better. Everything got pushed back. The tractor did a nice job on that. And uh, thanks for tuning in to watch us tonight. Hope you enjoyed the video. Click that subscribe button, like, share, and comment below. And uh, we'll see you the next time.